I woke up on the 5th to see a brand new SPAD had arrived at the aerodrome. On top of this, five new pilots arrived this morning fresh from the States. They arrived just in time to take advantage of our new SPADs. Anyway, my only sortie for the day is a balloon attack just northeast of Quincy Airfield. We'll go up in a flight of five with one of the new guys. I'll try to keep an eye on him. I don't want him getting killed on his first day. To uh, another episode of our Rise of Flight series, and let's go ahead and get this bad started. We're taking off as a flight of four, and we're going to go pop some balloons just across the German side of the lines here. Uh, maybe we'll stir up some enemy air activity, and I'm in the number two position for once, so time to go ahead and start throttling up. I am not dead last. Thankfully, we actually have a new guy dead last. His name is Clifford Benson in the number five slot. So I'm going to try to keep my eye on him. I don't want the, uh, our new pilots getting shot up right on the start. Let's go ahead and rotate. And beautiful, we are airborne in our trusty spad. We're going to go ahead and lean back on that mixture a little bit and make sure we try to keep up with flight lead up ahead. I'm quite excited to be in the number two position, actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck in uh, number five so often. I'm finally starting to redeem myself, I think. I honestly think I'm due for a promotion soon as well, but we'll see about that. Also, if we complete, if we successfully complete the sortie, uh, this will be my seventh sortie completed without being wounded or anything like that, so that will be exciting as well. We'll see though, uh, knowing me, I just said that, so I'll probably receive a bullet in the head and this will be the last episode. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Anyway, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and climb, let's take a look at our flight plan here. Yep, it's uh, pretty standard, it looks like we're, the balloons are just in here in that forest. That's kind of where I think those trucks were during our ground attack mission. Yeah, shoot, uh, there he is. Oh, engine choked there a little bit. You be a little careful while doing that, but overall, I think we are in for a mighty fine time during this sortie. And uh, I'll go ahead and cut here as we really just form up and begin our flight to no man's land just up ahead. It seems like we're not going to climb extremely high. Uh, flight lead is maintaining this altitude, so we'll sit here. We'll sit nice and happy here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut now, and I'll get back to you guys very soon. All right, we have the enemy balloons in sight. They're right there. It looks like there's also an aircraft flying right over the balloons. And I don't see any Archie fire, so I'm assuming that is very possibly a German aircraft. Whoa, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's avoid slamming into one of our friends here. All right. There we go. Much better. Let's go ahead and try to get back into formation and not collide. Okay, there's tracer fire over there as well. It looks like a fur ball has developed around the Hun balloons. Looks like two seaters because there are rear gunners shooting. Looks like we have a fight on our hands, boys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try to climb up here. I do want to have an altitude advantage over what I'm assuming are Fokkers, but it looks like we want to dive. Okay. Um, not exactly what I would do. It's swarming with enemies. I guess our main objective is the balloon. Oh boy. It does not look very good over there. It looks like quite the development. We're heading straight for us, but we need to take out the balloons first. Okay, no, we're turning to engage. Copy. Alright, that's exactly what I would have done. Someone's in trouble. That could be our two-seater there running away. I cannot make it out. It Okay, someone's going down. Oh boy, I have no idea actually what the hell is going on. We'll come back for the balloons once we uh, probably save this guy. That might be an enemy two-seater though. I'm not sure if I'm being honest. Looks like we're climbing. There's also aircraft on our six, but they're pretty far out. I'm not too worried about them just yet. They'll have to get a little bit closer before I <laughs> I start sweating. Let's see. It looks like there's a balloon. We're going for a balloon as well. And then there's a two-seater. That might be a German two-seater. Looks like that is another spad. 
I'm just trying to keep track of all these things in the sky. It's uh, pretty crowded at the moment. Oh, I completely lost our little friend. Our two-seater friend. Well, we're going to go ahead and it looks like we're patrolling this way. I and mean, we might be going for that balloon at 12 o'clock low. Very, oh, there's a two-seater. I'm going to go ahead and do a pass and uh, identify. We'll see if it's friend or foe. It's not shooting at me yet, so I have a feeling it might be friend. Also, it's not taking Archie fire, so that's why I'm also thinking it's a hun. We are closing very rapidly. I want to go ahead and climb above it, try to avoid that dastardly gunner. That'll probably hit us in the engine and we'll have to go home. I have terrible luck against enemy two-seaters. I want to be honest, kind of looks friendly from here. Looks like uh, they're diverting, but it's not taking Archie. We are. I think it's an enemy. Yeah, Archie's lighting us up. It's getting kind of close, too. It's concerning. But Archie is not shooting at him. I want to keep track of him. He's fast, man. I think it's definitely German. Let's go ahead. We'll begin making passes on it now. Oh, man. <laughs> the, that flak is getting awfully close. It's kind of making me a bit nervous. All right. Fucking glare in the Aldous sight. Definitely German. A few squeezes of the trigger. Oh, boy. Whoa. All right. Time to break off. It is not my definition of fun. Tore the fabric up a little bit. Man, that gunner is deadly accurate. I'm not a fan of this at all. I might actually break off because that gunner is really doing a number on me. Hit the fuel tank, break off. She's leaking fuel. Oh, hit me. Damn it. And we're leaking fuel as well. Archie, what is that? Is that a... Is that our two-seater? Going down? Uh, the balloon has been lowered to the ground. God damn it, I can't see anything now. I lost the two-seater. Oh, it could very well be going down. That's why I hate attacking two-seaters, like... Also, visibility in this thing sucks, so trying to make decent approaches is mighty difficult. We're going to go ahead, we'll take out the balloon, complete our objective, and head on home. Since this is <laughs> pretty bad, I'm not looking too good. We're also leaking fuel. Let's see. Hopefully our fuel will be okay. I might not be able to make it back to our aerodrome, but I certainly should be able to make it across uh, to our front lines. All right, let's come in, send this balloon down, make it unusable, and uh, get the hell out of here. Uh, that little, looks like that truck's opening fire on me. Let's go ahead and start firing from a relatively long range here. Because, oh boy. Whee! And it exploded. Hell yeah. Let's go home. Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> that's nuts. Okay, bye bye. Oh man, that's a lot of tracer fire. I'm just not going to look at it because if I can't see it, it can't hurt me, right? That's a good philosophy. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're just leaking fuel. I need to find the fuel gauge in this thing. I'm honestly not 100% sure where that's located. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll look for it a little bit later whenever I'm not in combat. Maybe we don't have a fuel gauge, although I do expect an aircraft like this does in fact have a fuel gauge. Is that it? It's probably down there. I think that's actually it right at my feet, but I can't really see that. That's in a terrible spot for me. Still taking lots of flack. Let's see, what's our, what's our heading? There's a compass down here. It's like we're just, we're just going to cross the front lines. That's priority number one, and then we'll try to find a nice soft airfield to land at. Well, here's some good news. We have successfully made it across no man's land. We are on our side of the lines and we're following this river to this little town right there. And according to the map, there should be an aerodrome on top of that hill. Now the bad news is I have absolutely zero idea how much fuel we have. Um, oh, we are almost out. If it's on at the one position, <laughs> whatever that represents, probably 10 gallons would be my best guess. So there's the airfield right there, perfect. So hopefully we can bring this bird down. We're gonna go ahead and throttle back and lower the mixture a little bit to save what little fuel we actually have. Should help us land this bird at this airfield right here. I don't even know what the name of it is or if it's really operational, but regardless, we have a town right here, so and hitch a ride back to uh, probably a hospital since we're bleeding all over the place. I think it's kind of funny that uh, I was talking about how we've made it so long without getting wounded and then I get wounded, but at least we're not dead. Not yet, anyway. Although our time is definitely limited, <laughs> knowing me. Those two-seaters are just so nasty though, those gunners. All right, let's go ahead and throttle up. I'm not really concerned about the wind as long as I just get this bird down. Oh, the church bells are a ringing for us. Hopefully we don't kill ourselves on landing here. All right, come down. Bounce. All right. Oh, not, not good. We're going to spin. Oh, we're going to hit our wing. Oh, and tip over. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> and we flipped. I think we're still alive though. Uh, my pilot looks very happy. We have about three inches of clearance between uh, us and the floor. So anyway, uh, not not great, but uh, not bad considering the circumstances. Let's go ahead and finish that flight. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, man, we are very lucky. I feel like Evan Ross has been shot quite a lot. So we got the balloon. Unfortunately, the airplane did not go down. We did not get credit. <laughs> Next for it. day, let's go ahead and jump ahead and see how long we are in the uh, hospital for. So apparently the weather's pretty poor anyway, so we would have skipped this time. Weather conditions are too poor to fly. Scheduled sorties the next day. All missions have been scrubbed. Okay. Sounds good. Let's see where we jump to. Mid-August. Wow, we had a pretty big storm. So I was in the hospital to the 10th and then it was still raining. But uh, it's currently, we've got new mail as well. It's currently uh, August 14th and we'll be going up on an offensive patrol. I just got really eager when I saw that two seater. It probably would have been best to let him go, but my luck with two seaters is just <laughs> very poor. Their gunners always end up hitting me in the engine or hitting my pilot, but thankfully he did not hit my heads. Welcome back everyone to another mission. I looked at the footage and I was like, hey, that's only around 16 minutes long and you know, I want something a little longer since our last episode last week was quite short compared to normal. So we're gonna go ahead and take off on our next mission which is an offensive patrol, finally, just across the lines over towards that cluster of German airfields that we've grown, grown so fond of. So let's go ahead and throttle up and get this spad in the air. Oh boy, kicking it around a little bit. 
It's currently August 14th, I believe. So the timeline has accelerated just a bit because we were wounded and uh, as you remember, it was quite rainy and it looks like we still have quite a few of those clouds in the air. It's quite cloudy. It looks like it could really rain at any moment, but we'll be okay. We have our trusty spad. We're in a flight of, it looks like, five once again, and I am in the number three position. My goal really is to bring this spad home A-OK -okay and not crunch another wing and flip it. Uh, that, would, that would be preferable. So uh, let's go ahead and look at our flight path one more time so you guys can get a better picture. Yep, we're pretty much heading in between that cluster. Man, there are... Just looking at the map, that's an absurd amount of aerodromes over there. I gotta say, that's crazy. But, and uh, also, these clouds, I am not fond of flying in the clouds either because it's very hard to lose your position and your flight, so I need to try to stick with them and not get separated. That's going to be the challenge. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and hop over to the line, see if we can stir up any trouble as per usual, and avoid getting shot. That would be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I'll get back to you guys probably when we're over No Man's Land once again. This will probably be a bit longer of a video, and I hope you guys don't mind that. Okay, well we just crossed over to No Man's Land, and it looks like we're heading straight for this German balloon dead ahead. I'm going to go ahead and bring my guns to bear and try to take it out real fast. So far, no aerial contacts. I really do hope we find some enemy aircraft <laughs> in this mission. I, I really want to uh, try out this plane in air-to-air -air combat, and hopefully we don't get ourselves killed. Let's go ahead and throttle down so we don't shear off our wings now. That would be embarrassing. Lots of guns, bullets into it, and oh, she went down. Perfect. Engulfed in flames. I think one of my guns jammed. Let's go ahead and clear that real fast and regroup with my flight. That is one balloon down, one kill for us. There's another balloon off over there as whoa whoa what the hell that was just archie okay that scared the, the crap out of me there <laughs> oh that was scary i thought that was an airplane diving down on me taking a lot of shots but anyway we're going to go ahead and uh, regroup with my flight and i will keep you guys updated as our patrol progresses okay a german two-seater just flew right over us and my uh my whole flight is in chase. I'm going to let them go ahead and uh, take care of this. The two-seaters are not my strong suit. Maybe if one of them diverts the anti-aircraft or the gunner fire, then I'll go in. But oh, it looks like we're not even concerned about the two-seater. We're just going to let it go home. Okay, that's fine by me. I would rather not tangle with the two-seater either. They're, <laughs> more sc they're scarier than uh, just the... Fokker D7s to be honest with that tail gunner. Okay, three aircraft over there. I have no idea what those are. Oh boy. So we might have a fur ball developing here. I'm going to go ahead and try to climb. See, there's the two seater right there. I do not have visual on those three aircraft that were flying, but it looks like we're just breaking off. Okay. That's fine by me as well. I'm gonna stick with my flight. I'm not gonna go after an entire flight of Germans just by myself. That is asking to die. So I'm gonna stick with my flight and uh, just follow them wherever flight lead desires. I figured you would find that interesting since that uh, two-seater really just popped out out of nowhere. I wonder if it just came out of a cloud or something. I had no idea it was there. Anyway, we're continuing onward. Okay, there's another balloon right up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my shots now see if we can take it out here it would be cool to get two balloon kills going in nice and fast but we should be okay in this plane all right good pass there let's go ahead and pull out nice and easy our wings aren't fluttering around so we're okay thankfully <laughs> did not rip them off it looks like this balloon is not it's not have as much archie around it so should be okay to come in for another pass go not great but not not bad either go ahead and come back around and hopefully this third pass will just completely take it out or maybe one of my comrades will come in and take it out but looks like they're not interested anymore go ahead and come around and take my shots there we go 
Another balloon down for the count. Let's go ahead and throttle up. It looks like there is some tracer fire coming from the base below, and I do not want to get hit by that. All right, let's find my flight. Where are you? Let's see. They're probably, well, they should be right around here somewhere. Well, anyway, I'll try to relocate them, and uh, I presume we're going to head northeast towards that cluster of airfields and see if we can stir up any trouble. That is our next uh, waypoint, so yeah, it looks like they're probably heading that way now. Okay, that gives me a clue as to where to go, so I'll get back to you guys very soon. Okay, there's my flight at 12 o'clock. It looks like they're disrupting this German airfield, and it looks like there's a few Germans in the air. Quite a bit of tracer fire. I'm going to go ahead and dive down. Hopefully we can take them out in one pass. Let's go ahead and make sure guns are ready to rock and roll here. Oh, there's flares. Oh boy, this is quite the dogfight over the German aerodrome. Uh, that's concerning. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go for them. It's like the yellow tails once again. Let's see here. Looks like this one's leaking fuel. Perfect target. Let's go ahead and try to pick them off. Going into a nice high speed dive. I think a spad is laying in on him, but I think we're going a bit faster. It looks like, oh, that spad needs to go on home. He's leaking fuel as well. Hopefully he doesn't crash over this aerodrome here. Go. Some hits, I think. Go ahead and fly over our prey. We're going to kick the spad around. I don't think this uh, Fokker D7 is in much of a position to really fight back so we're gonna go ahead and try to finish her off go and throttle up increase our mixture a little bit since we are flying quite a bit lower than uh, we were previously we killed off a lot of altitude and this is scary I'm honestly pretty worried about the enemy anti-aircraft fire above the airfield I have a feeling it can get pretty nasty go more hits I am surprised this thing's still flying but let's go ahead and go in for another pass here six o'clock is okay good and man this bad is fast keep on doing passes so just rinse and repeat here don't want to get caught in a uh, nasty position I don't want to give this Fokker a uh, chance to really fire up on me. Let's go ahead and throttle down. We're going significantly faster than our our friend here. And I think he might be trying to land. Maybe not. Ooh, there we go. Looks like we got a hit in the radiator. And this is a flight leader. As well, as you can tell by the, the streamer. Only flight leaders have the streamer. So let's go ahead and try to finish him off. Oh, I think he's going to crash. Yeah, oh, there we go. One down. Let's go ahead and return. It looks like the fur ball is still going on over there. Lots of anti-aircraft fire. So I'm going to go ahead and try to climb in the meantime uh, to try to avoid some of that low level triple a and there's a fokker right there it looks like just did a pass on one of my spads let's go ahead and try to take him out to a nice dinner no, i'm just kidding yep he's on a spad go ahead and try to clear my friend's tail here don't want anybody getting killed on the sortie although i hope that spad that is leaking fuel is heading back home oh no he just get hit he just got hit by archie Yikes, that does not look good. And that's exactly what I'm afraid of flying over this uh, German airfield. Okay, so we lost one. Possibly two. I need to check my six. It looks like we uh, took care of a lot of these D7s, however. I don't see very many flying about. Go. Oh god, that's a lot of tracer fire. Here we are. Uh, that anti-aircraft emplacement. We're in a very bad position. <laughs> we. Oh, 
Oh, you got guns, guns, guns. Oh, shit. We're leaking. Now we're good. Let's run. Oh, God. Time to go. Time to go. Uh, sh shit, that's a spad. Oh boy, that does not look good at all. Okay, that's kind of scary. Let's see. Looks like we don't have too much damage on the rest of our aircraft. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's try to meander our way home and find an airfield on our side of the lines here. Looks like this one I landed at last time is probably the closest, so we'll go ahead and uh, head that way here. Let's go ahead and just throttle up and leave the combat area. It looks like they're still slugging it out over there. Yikes, that is rough to say the least. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and fly home. Hopefully we don't get jumped and killed. Looks like there's a flare. I'm heading home because I cannot fight with this, obviously. Uh, if we were to get into a dive, the, that wing would be gone, so. Also, our plane is already bouncing around like crazy. I'm kinda worried we won't be able to make it home. Okay, we're flying over no man's land now, and I think, I really think I'm going to be able to take my plane all the way back home. So I'm going to try to do that and land at our home airfield. We're, we've gotten out of the worst of it. Unless there's aircraft patrolling on our side of the lines, we'll be okay. I was really worried about crossing the lines and just getting hit by Archie, because that would have ended it rather quickly. But we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and cross the lines and come in for a landing, hopefully. Our airfield is straight ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and come in for an emergency landing here. I'm not gonna worry about the wind. I'm just gonna try to get this aircraft down. Although I probably could, but this damage is pretty bad. I don't wanna risk any more <laughs> time in the air than I've already uh, put in. I'm actually pretty surprised it's held up, but we have been flying more or less level, so. Oh boy, this is gonna be scary. Hopefully I don't kill, my kill myself. Alright, nice and easy. I'm kind of worried about the rest of my flight. I have not seen another SPAD in the area. Uh, kind of close. Let's go ahead and throttle up just a little bit. And hopefully... Oh, nice bounce. We're gonna spin. Oh! There we go! Let's take a look at the damage up close. Yeah, that looks pretty rough. I'm actually amazed we're okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> finish that because Yikes, let's go ahead and finish the flight and see how everyone did Oh boy Anthony Blake who's been with us a pretty long time is now is dead wait. Oh He's just injured uh, Clyde Blankard is also just injured Royal end was killed in action and Sam Gibson was also killed in action. I got one plane and two balloons. Let's go ahead and proceed. Yikes, that was actually not too good. I'm gonna be honest. I got a medal, however. Let's see, distinguished service cross with four bronze oak leaves. Cool. All right. Well, and we destroyed Heinz Kuhn and a Fokker D7F. Okay, well that was a nice taste of action in the SPAD 13. Overall, not our best sortie, but we're going to go ahead and uh, end the episode here, since it's probably a bit longer now, but thank you guys for watching as always. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one.